I'm Dr. Steve George, Landscape Horticultural Specialist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. I'm delighted to have you join us today. We're going to be focusing on expanded shale and what a great uh, improvement it is for sticky clay soils. You want to remember that, that plant roots must have oxygen to carry on respiration. As a result, most plants like to be in a well-aerated, uh, well-drained soil. That's easy in a sandy or a loam soil, but that can be very difficult to achieve in a clay soil. <clears throat> so in these sticky, heavy clays, we need to open them up, get that excess water out of there, and, and that will allow more oxygen into the root zone. And here's where expanded shale really comes to the rescue. Expanded shale is a, is a naturally occurring rock mineral. And if your soil develops significant cracking when it is dry, I think it will really benefit from the, the uh, shale. And here's what the, the uh, shale looks like. It is a rock. It's, it is as hard as a rock. And the size aggregate that we prefer is about a quarter inch in diameter. Now, expanded shale is not pea gravel, not pea gravel, and remember expanded shale is needed only in sticky, heavy clays. Shale has lots of advantages. I was on the A&M research team that did a two-year research study on the landscape properties of expanded shale, uh, plus we did uh, six years of field trials, and based on that, I feel expanded shale will open up and aerate heavy sticky clays faster than any material I've ever tested. And due to its porous nature, it provides aeration from within that particle, and that resulted in more extensive and healthier root systems than the other treatments being tested. Another great advantage, uh, expanded shale opens up clay soil almost immediately. It doesn't take two to three years like, like I experienced when I am uh, used only organic matter. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but expanded shale makes it uh, uh, really enjoyable to garden in a clay soil because it greatly reduces the tendency of the soil to stick to your implement, garden implements and a, a, a shovel blade penetrates very, very easily into a bed with, with shale. <clears throat> shale is very long lasting. You only apply it one time. It is, in essence, a permanent uh, change to the physical nature of your soil. I estimate one application will last 10 to 15 years. Uh, it's a rock. It's not, it's not going anywhere. It's quite cost-effective, uh, and to further reduce the cost, you may want to use expanded shale just in those, in those high-value areas, such as beds, where you're going to be replanting every year or even multiple times a year like we do with annual flowers and with some vegetables. Uh, if you buy it in bulk, it's usually less expensive. It's also available in bags. You can look for it at your uh, local retail nursery or commercial soil supplier. Initially, you just want, might want to try it on a small scale, maybe 10 feet by 10 feet, just to see how it performs in your soil and with your plants. I predict that you're going to be very pleased. Now, even though I dearly love fully finished plant-derived compost, if I was limited to only one soil amendment and only one application of that soil amendment, I would choose expanded shale and never look back. It's that good. Wanted to let you know that day after tomorrow, we'll be doing an in-depth video on building an earth kind soil, and we'll describe exactly how you can use expanded shale to its fullest potential. I hope you can enjoy. I uh, hope you can join us. Thanks.